Henry Meliason lived in relative obscurity, but he possessed one of the world's most famous brains and helped shape our understanding of memory. In 1953, aged 27, the American underwent brain surgery intended to cure his epilepsy. While the removal of parts of his hippocampus, amygdaloid complex and entorhinal cortex reduced his seizures, Meliason lost the ability to form any new memories. He lived in the present for the rest of his life, unable to store information for any longer than 30 seconds. But Meliason's life-changing event was a huge opportunity for scientists. Henry could speak, recall long-term memories from before his surgery, carry out tasks like tying shoelaces, and learn some new tasks, such as moving with a walking frame. But he was not able to create any new long-term memories, like learning new words or recall times and dates. Prior to Meliason, there was uncertainty about which part of the brain is used to create memories. By agreeing to be studied over several decades until his death in 2008, Meliason's case transformed the way we understand memory and helped explain how different areas of the brain are linked to specific memory function. Meliason donated his brain to research. It is still analysed by scientists interested in memory and conditions such as Alzheimer's.